All right, guys, here we go again with an amazing Nicole, kickboxing match, especially between the ladies. Nicole Constanza and Danielle Pitbull. There's Constanza some in the blue tape. Animosity there. Pitbull in the red. Here we go. I love this moment, man. Right when the fight starts, right when the first exchange comes in, this is what dreams are made of. We're going to see what these ladies do with it. I like the patience. This is probably the first fight where they're actually being very yeah, technical, measured. taking their time, filling each other out. We'll see, man. A coin toss away from chaos. Exactly. <laughs> Nice, nice Good little defense from Nicole. Actually, she kept her arms up and she was able to get uh, the meat of that punch on her shoulder. But we'll see, we'll see if Danielle makes adjustments. Nice composure by both ladies. Yep, filling each other out. I think Nicole is actually switching stances as well. She keeps doing that. Cohen, the pit bull, known for her heavy hands, um, had a great sparring session with a, an up-and-coming fighter that was actually put on social media by the Gold Shed. Kind of boosted their, their whole ego. And now up against her opponent who, by the way, has the, the Thailand, I don't know what to call it, the, uh, the, the strap that's under her arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I know what you're talking about. I just don't know what to call it either. Yeah. Oh, that was actually very nice. Lead left high kick and as she came down with that same foot, she threw a nice jab. Nicole's got a real quick hook. Yeah, she does. Yes, she's leading. She's leading got range with it over Danielle as well. She needs to use that range. Very, very good point. Use, use the jab. Stay on the distance. A flurry there from Danielle. A little wild. Didn't look like anything landed. Ladies, for the first time, with a lot of composure, looking good. I feel like a lot of times the fights where there's a lot of animosity and pushing and shoving and wins, I think they're a lot like this because I feel like there's a lot riding on it that nobody really wants to take, you know, bite down on their mouthpiece and throw the first punch, you know, and then they could be kind of like a days ago, but we'll see if things heat up in the second round. Great, great call. Totally agree with you, but uh, I think it's a very nice first round warm up and a, and a great way to finish the round. Round one down, very hard to call. Great scrappy fight, great exchanges. Both ladies landed punches and kicks. Um, looked like Cohen might have been a little bit stronger on her punches, but seems like the same she amount of punches. Definitely landed the bigger landed. punches, but um, you know, it's it was, it was definitely a feel around. We're gonna see. I mean, this is an MMA fight that's in the amateur circuit, so the rounds are three minute rounds. We're gonna see if uh, they turn up the heat because they only got six minutes left to work with. Then who the hell knows who won that first round? Agreed. Both fighters were walking forward. Both fighters were walking backwards. You know, both both fighters exchanged good punches and showed good defense. So we're gonna see. You know, if the second round. Uh, I, th I think throughout up. the course of the round, uh, Nicole was a little bit more active. Uh, at the end of the round, Danielle got a little bit more active. So. Good way of seeing it, Ramsey. I agree with you on that. Yeah, good, definitely good point. Uh, that definitely how I saw it. But man, the judges have surprised me. I think three times tonight. No kidding. Uh, Frank walked away from that that fight. When he, when he went you know, to, to get a quick restroom break, and um, I forgot who was it that won. I was pretty mind blown when it happened. No, 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 no. I, I was here for Oh, that you were one. here. That was and the yeah, that away away from, yes, yeah. exactly. That's right. All right Let's see what adjustments back. they make after they uh, talk to their corner. There we go. Good job from Nicole. She, she set up a good 3 2. I'd like to see Nicole not switch stances so much, you know. Uh, it must be part of her game plan by all means, but I feel like she was seeing good, good, uh, good success from the orthodox stance. You know, she threw a one-three-two, and she, I feel like, nice straight there from the good goal. counter. You know, she countered a leg kick. And that's back to the countering punches with kicks and kicks with punches. It's supportive. It it's supportive of what you're saying. If, if you're gonna switch stances, be active on it. Be active, by but all don't, means. But don't switch it and do nothing and with it. Because we, we know that your defense is down when you switch stances. Absolutely. Another thing is exactly what you just said right now is when you switch stances. Number one, do it quickly, but number two, don't do it when you're in range because the best counter to somebody that's switching a stance is the right hand. There, I mean, at least Nicole, this time that she switched stances, she went from uh, orthodox to southpaw. Um, at least now she you know, had enough distance between her and Danielle, but to be very honest with you, I, I, I switch stances all the time as well, and I think that it's always better to do it mid-combination because your opponent doesn't necessarily see what's up or what you're setting up. That's an amazing point, and I could not agree with you more, and I do the same exact thing, brother. 
So, Absolutely. Uh, well said, man, well said. Do a mid, mid combination where they don't realize when you do it when you're on the outside, like we've seen her Off do a couple a punch, times. You know? Yeah, it's noticeable, and then your opponent gets to, to adjust. Very nice hands by the pit bull, getting a little bit more aggressive in the second round. 30 seconds left. I, I want to see them turn up the volume, though, you know? I think both of them have a lot of heat. Both of them have a lot of cardio. You know, they obviously know how to hurt each other, and I, I think that they should both just open up. I think that if one fighter leads the dance, the other will follow. I like that. I, I hope that the coaches are telling them the same thing that you just said, Frank, because uh, Absolutely. it's an amateur fight. It's a kickboxing match. We need to see We need to see dig deep. We need to see let it go. You can't be fearful in this type of situation because otherwise my, what happens when you move to the, to the pro? Absolutely. In my opinion, there's no worse thing than losing a fight that you – left without even sweating you know like still having so much in you that you could have let out you know dude to compliment what you just said it, i have a pet peeve ramsey when i watch fights it doesn't matter what fight it is ufc bellator combat night when a fighter is done with the fight and he has enough energy to, to just jump on the cage jump on the back jump flips. and just i'm like wait a minute you did not go and out. then you they didn't complain about fight. the decision yeah you didn't go all out you, you should did be, not finish fighting you should be exhausted you yeah. should be exhausted 100%. As, as fighters ramsey when we're done training, we're laying on the mats for 30 minutes. That's where the bond we're grows. You step That's in the where shower the bond and grows with fighters because yeah. you're just so yeah. exhausted as an amateur who's just trying to learn that you leave it all on the mats. You need to put that same effort into a fight, especially if you're an amateur trying to become a professional. So Absolutely. So to piggyback what Frank is saying, I would love to see these ladies turn it up and really go all out for this third round because they've been measured for the first two rounds. It's the third round. Let's go out with a bang. And by the way, keep in mind that in part of training is to know how hard you can go. If you yes. have a gas tank, right, you got 44 gallons and you're running around the track, you know, you should know that those 44 gallons are going to last you these many laps. You should know how hard you can push so that you're completely exhausted and use every ounce of energy by the time that you reach the final bell. So you know there's nothing you could have done more to win that fight. And here we go. To that point, they're both starting off with heat. Third and final round. I think they need to start with smoke with exactly the same way that they're doing it right now, man. They need to just up the volume. Danielle is definitely turning it up. Absolutely. I'd like to see more than just a, just a one-shot kick. Yeah, though. seriously. Now it looks like she's going ahead and countering. Yep. Nicole had a couple good counters in there, and now Danielle did too. Good footwork by Danielle, man. Again, just want to see some more commitment. You, you got a minute and a half left. Absolutely. I mean, look. Both of them have the steam. I don't see either of them breathing heavy. I don't Agreed. see their stomachs or diaphragms Agreed. moving all that much. They, you know, they can go for it. You know, and I know both of these are very, very talented ladies. I mean, I've seen both of them train. Um, I've got the utmost respect for both Danielle and Nicole. Um, and to be very honest with you, I just want to see the better fighter win. And I just want to see them do exactly what they're doing right now. I want, I want to see them turn up the heat. There's a little show body from Danielle, but it's like do something with it. You know, don't just sit there and look at your opponent like you Again, missed me. Again, couldn't make agree with you more, it. brother. Like if you got enough to put your arms up and showboat like that. Go for a finish. She looks good. Seems like she's winning. And there she goes being aggressive, looking like she's trying to go for a finish. I love it. 45 seconds. Finish it. it. Go up. more. Nice output. It seems like when Danielle storms her and she has these flurries of punches, it seems like Nicole is, is a little lost. You know, like she doesn't step out. She just moves straight back until she hits the fence. If I was, if I was uh, uh, Danielle, I apologize. I would wait for Nicole to be up against the fence and just come up with a barrage of punches, you know. Even if I'm, they might not be the ones to knock her out, they're definitely going to make you look good in front of the judges. Great kick to the body, by the way, on that note. But, yes, I agree with you again. Uh, um, I mean, you're, at, you're on the last round. you got to let it go. If you can't get the timing down and your, your opponent is landing strikes, well, then you just counter with a flurry. You can't sit there and just take the punches. you got to do what you can to try to finish strong, as they're doing right now with the last final seconds. Very good fight, nonetheless. Is there? We got. So that was the third and final round. Great fight. I was almost confused. I thought I missed the round for a second there. I guess I got caught up too much in the action at the end of that round. Good fight. They no, lost no some time points. in the first round for sure. Yeah. Yes. So the first round was a little bit too much fill out process. Second round turned up. Third round, they, they all kind of gave it what they got. But that's the thing that me and Frank are talking about. When you're, when you're in the amateurs and you're trying to pick it up, like Frank was saying, you need to know where your tank is at. Yeah. You need to know where your heart is at. So this is where it's like, okay, this is a sparring session with another gym in a, in a, uh, in, in a disclosed location. That, that's what it is. So before you make it count on your pro record, try yourself here. It's different when you go against your, your training partners. You just have a certain level of comfort where it's just completely different. Under the lights, 
pressure. Everybody's watching. This is where you test yourself. You give it all you got. And, uh, I mean, we saw a little bit of it. Definitely want to see more of it in the in future fights. But nonetheless, great risks when you're fighting in the amateur level. Four cards. First judge scored it 29, 28. Constancer, 29, 28. Cohen. And for your winner, 29, 28 for your winner by way of a split decision. Daniel! Hard work, dedication, relaxing, ain't no option.